With its rich history, vibrant culture, and rapidly evolving landscape, China is a fascinating destination that attracts travelers from all corners of the globe. From the majestic Great Wall to the modern skyline of Shanghai, the country boasts a tapestry of attractions that offer a glimpse into its rich past and dynamic present. However, in addition to its tourist attraction, China attracts the attention of the world community for its ambitious engineering projects and infrastructure development. In its quest for innovation and progress, the country has taken many pioneering initiatives that have captured the imagination and left a lasting impression on observers around the world. One such endeavor that has attracted international interest is the large-scale construction of military infrastructure on distant shores. Since 2013, China has begun deliberate efforts to create military facilities in strategically important locations even hundreds of kilometers from the mainland. These developments, including the construction of naval bases and facilities on remote islands and reefs, have fueled intrigue and speculation regarding China's geopolitical ambitions and military capabilities. The scale and scope of these projects is truly astonishing, demonstrating China's determination to assert its presence and influence in key maritime regions. From the disputed waters of the South China Sea to the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, China's military expansion has changed the geopolitical landscape and prompted responses from neighboring countries and world powers. Moreover, China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, exemplifies its desire to build international connections and stimulate economic development on a global scale. Launched in 2013, the BRI aims to strengthen connections and promote trade and investment along ancient trade routes spanning Asia, Africa, and Europe. Through a network of infrastructure projects including ports, railways, and roads, China is seeking to increase its economic influence and build partnerships with member countries. However, amid impressive achievements and grandiose aspirations, China's engineering feats have not been without controversy and scrutiny. Environmental concerns, human rights issues, and geopolitical tensions are casting a shadow over some of the country's endeavors, prompting calls for transparency, accountability, and responsible governance. The South China Sea, a vast expanse of water located between the southern coasts of China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei, has strategic significance that extends far beyond its shimmering blue surface. This maritime region, characterized by complex geopolitics and disputed territorial claims, serves as a focal point where the interests of many states intersect, sparking debate and controversy over sovereignty, maritime rights, and regional security. Despite its name, which varies depending on the perspective of different countries, the South China Sea is not just a body of water, but a conduit for global trade and commerce. Three trillion dollars worth of cargo passes through its waters each year, linking the Far East, Southeast Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe in a vast network of maritime trade routes. From container ships laden with goods to oil tankers carrying vital energy resources, the South China Sea serves as a critical artery of global trade, facilitating the movement of goods and resources essential to the global economy. However, beneath the surface of this busy maritime thoroughfare lies a seething cauldron of geopolitical tensions and territorial disputes. The South China Sea is home to many disputed islands, reefs, and shoals, each claimed by several countries seeking to assert their sovereignty and control over the region. The Spratly Islands, Paracel Islands, and Scarborough Shoal are just a few examples of disputed territories that have become hotbeds of diplomatic friction and military action. At the heart of these disputes is the contentious issue of maritime boundaries and exclusive economic zones. China, in particular, asserts its extensive territorial claims, which are expressed in the controversial Nine Dash Line, covering vast areas of the South China Sea. This assertion of sovereignty has drawn condemnation from neighboring countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, and Malaysia, as well as concern from the international community at large. In addition, the South China Sea has enormous strategic value beyond its role in maritime trade. 
Beneath its waters lies vast reserves of oil and natural gas, making it a coveted prize for energy-hungry countries seeking access to vital resources. The discovery of oil in the region in 1968 only heightened tensions and competition between claimant states vying for control of these valuable energy reserves. Amid these geopolitical complexities, the South China Sea remains at the center of global attention with stakeholders closely monitoring developments and diplomatic maneuvers in the region. As countries navigate a tangled web of maritime disputes and territorial rivalries, the future of the South China Sea remains uncertain, its fate intertwined with the shifting currents of international politics and power dynamics. The Paracel and Spratly Islands, located in the vast waters of the South China Sea, have a unique significance that belies their diminutive size and unassuming appearance. These islands, characterized by sandy shores and sparse vegetation, became geopolitical hotspots in the 20th century, becoming centers of territorial disputes and claims to sovereignty. Originally occupied by the Japanese Empire during World War II, these islands did not go unnoticed by other nations in the post-war era. As the dust settled from the conflict, countries in the region began to assert their claims to these disputed territories, each seeking to gain a foothold in the resource-rich waters of the South China Sea. Among the countries vying for control of the Paracel and Spratly Islands, China emerged as the top contender, citing historical precedents and geographic proximity to bolster its claims. However, his claims have met with stiff resistance from neighboring countries. Vietnam, the Philippines, and Malaysia, each of which has laid claim to part of the archipelago. The ensuing diplomatic skirmishes and territorial disputes turned the Paracel and Spratly Islands into symbols of regional tensions and geopolitical maneuvering. Although some of these islands were little more than remote coral reefs lacking the infrastructure needed for large-scale development, they nevertheless became valuable assets in the eyes of rival claimants. For China, accustomed to ambitious construction projects and expansive territorial claims, even the smallest pieces of land had strategic value. Despite the challenges posed by their remote location and limited resources, China has made ambitious efforts to assert its presence and control over these disputed territories, turning them into outposts equipped with military facilities and infrastructure. Meanwhile, Vietnam, the Philippines, and Malaysia continued to assert their own claims to parts of the archipelago, challenging China's attempts to assert exclusive control over the region. The result was a protracted standoff characterized by diplomatic tensions, periodic skirmishes, and competing notions of maritime sovereignty. Amid geopolitical competition and territorial disputes, the Paracel and Spratly Islands remain enduring symbols of the complex dynamics shaping the South China Sea. As stakeholders navigate a tangled web of competing claims and strategic interests, the fate of these disputed territories remains uncertain, their future intertwined with the shifting tides of regional politics and international relations. China's innovative approach to land expansion in the South China Sea has taken the form of an ambitious engineering project aimed at transforming remote reefs and shoals into strategic islands. Using advanced dredging technology, China has embarked on a massive sand dredging operation, removing sediment from the seabed and depositing it in targeted areas to create new land masses. This unprecedented feat of engineering allowed China to significantly expand its territorial presence in the region effectively changing the geopolitical landscape of the South China Sea. By artificially reclaiming land from the ocean, China not only strengthened its territorial claims, but also created a network of strategically located islands capable of supporting military installations and infrastructure. The newly created islands, covering a total area of 13.5 square kilometers and spread across seven reefs, formed the basis for China's assertive maritime strategy providing a platform for the construction of deep-sea harbors, fortified coastlines, and state-of-the-art military facilities. These facilities, including fully equipped airports, naval bases, and advanced defense systems, 
have transformed the once uninhabited reefs into strategic outposts capable of projecting power and influence throughout the region. By creating these artificial islands, China has effectively expanded its zone of influence in the heart of the South China Sea, strengthening its presence and asserting its maritime claims with unprecedented force. The strategic importance of these newly created areas cannot be overstated as they serve as forward operating bases for China's naval and air forces, enabling rapid deployment and enhanced surveillance capabilities in strategic waters. In addition, the fortified shores and military installations on these artificial islands serve as a powerful deterrent to potential rivals, signaling China's desire to protect its territorial interests and assert its dominance in the region. These islands are equipped with the latest technology, from advanced missile defense systems to sophisticated radar installations, allowing China to keep a vigilant eye on its maritime domain and respond quickly to any perceived threats. However, China's assertive actions in the South China Sea have drawn criticism and condemnation from neighboring countries and the international community, which view its attempts at territorial expansion as a violation of international law and a threat to regional stability. The creation of artificial islands has escalated tensions in the region, sparking diplomatic disputes and raising concerns about the possibility of conflict. As claims and geopolitical rivalries continue in the waters of the South China Sea, the artificial islands serve as a stark reminder of the complex challenges facing the region. With the future of the South China Sea hanging in the balance, the fate of these strategically important outposts remains uncertain, and their presence will shape the dynamics of maritime security and regional stability in the coming years.